look undeniably beautiful. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Hope your night was great. Sure it was. Good. I wish we could stay home today. Yeah, we could. But I have to go to work. Your breakfast is on the table. Thank you. Wish me luck. Yes, wishes. Bye bye. Okay, please don't stay late today. I said to where they talk cheap today. What's your cheap piece? You don't think you suck? Workplace. Can we please maintain some peace? Sir, please, what is it? No, to this alaki dog, yeah? No, oh, sir, please. We don't use such languages here. We're not a costnaya. Can you please calm down and talk to me? What is it? Okay, actually, I came to see my friend, her boss, whom I have known for a very long time, and I came to make a business proposition. And she actually asked me to wait. And while I was waiting, she kept making at me like this. And I, I don't understand what was going on. It's like she was trying to seduce me. Madam, it's a job. Sir, on behalf of POD Enterprises, I apologize for the inconveniences. I promise this will never repeat itself again. Better be. I believe it's your turn, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. I think we need to close that case. We have to try by all possible means to put them under pressure. That the only option they will consider will be to close that case. Sure. So I have all the evidence here, including the video. But like you said, our chances of winning this case is very, very slim. But I'm convinced that this evidence will definitely force them to close the case. Oh, you need to give us a very serious thought. Don't you think so? I think so too, sir. Yes, we really need to put our best foot forward. Then, sir, the five we asked for. Daniela! We are in the middle of a meeting, for God's sake. But she seems to wish to leave us first. So that's why you are interrupting our meeting? Come on. Come in. Sir, you're supposed to have a meeting with the commissioner. Oh. Please be scheduled. Okay, sir. Sia? Yes, sir. Get me a Miss Finger. Okay, sir. The door is open. 
feel on it. Actually, it's really so peaceful. Okay, I'm coming. Like seriously, my dear, that's how I almost lost a million dollars. But you know me, I'm cool. Okay, okay. I'll make sure you get it. Come in. Let me call you back. Oh, Finde, always looking hot and astonishing. Have a seat. Thank you, sir. Don't you think it's about time you got the sack wrap? I mean, you can always call me by my name, or better still what you used to call me, Pasma, and you get to be my Finns girl. After all these years, you're still the same heart, gorgeous, pulchritudinous Finda Josiah. The Finda I loved, still love, and will always love till eternity. Why have you called me to your office, sir? Oh, why I called you? POD Enterprises has been nominated at Benson International Award, and I'd like for you to represent us. Okay, sir. That's great. We'll discuss that over lunch then. Okay, sir. Pass man. I beg to take my leave now. So, what do you think I should do? <laughs> do nothing. I am not sure about that. It's becoming unbearable. They humiliate me at every given point. Can you imagine the last time he asked me to clean his office? What? Yes. He said it was the job of a woman. So he gave the cleaner a day off. And I had to do the cleaning. <laughs> okay. This is insane. What do your dad have to say about that? What does he have to say? You know he's always concerned about me being in the law side because he wants to maintain his position as the mayor. Those looks. I remember those looks. With due respect, sir, why exactly have you brought me out here? Oh, come on, relax. To have lunch, of course, and to talk. To talk about the proposal I told you about earlier. To talk about work. And to talk about us. About us? Oh, come on, Fiend. Enough of this pretense. I've missed you. And I know you've missed me too. I've seen the way you've been looking at me all this while. Pascal, you are a married man now. I looked for you. And you found someone. Fiend, I waited. For a month or two? Four. And Four you good. married her, Pascal. You deserted me. I was there for you. I burned for you. Yet you made a conscious choice to leave me in sight of a family that abandoned you. All you have done in my I place. I will have waited more, Pascal. Besides, I told you what I was going to do before I left. But you left. You're back now. I still have feelings for you. We can rebuild again. Sorry. Can you what options do you have? You work for me now. We get to see each other every day and we both know you can't resist me. Matter of fact, I'm your source of living. Always remember that. It sickens me that you don't want to heed to my advice. And you're becoming very useless to me. Look. Everything I do is for the benefit of my children. But your negligence is becoming incomprehensible. I got you to marry that hit fool because I thought it would help augment our financial position in our family. But you are doing completely the opposite. No, look, 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 we will talk about this later. Hey, Inspector. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Any word on my daughter? 
I'm still working on the case, sir. We have clues and connections which indicates that she's alive. Huh? So, so, so where is she? That I don't know. But I can assure you that we are this close to finding out. Oh, uh, that's very good, Inspector. You, you, you have been doing very well. Uh, but I, I want to encourage you to please do a little bit more, eh? Definitely. Okay, so now, um, about the money. He was so serious about it. So what did you tell him? What do you expect? Mm. It's a no, of course. You know that guy won't stop coming, right? Mm. And I won't stop resisting him. Besides, I have you. And I don't want anyone else. Is that so? Mm hmm Babe, you really need to take care of this guy. I'm not ready to share you with anyone. I want to have you all to myself. You already do, babe. I'm sure the way I treated him today, it will be its last. I hope so. Come on. You're such a baby. Oh no, Dad. You've started again. No, no, no. Uh, Inspector Brian was here today. And he said that there is all possibility that they can find your sister. I thought this case was closed. Was it? Why, why, why is it that I seem to be the only one who cares about finding your sister? It has been 24 years since we last laid eyes on her. Oh. Uh, do you know that today is her birthday? Today is her birthday! Imagine, we've had so much fun today. She's grown such a beautiful woman. I miss her so much. So, so much. Good morning, sir. What do you think you're doing? My phone. I'm meeting the Minister of Tourism today, and I want you to accompany me for that meeting. What's that? But nothing. We'll leave in 20 minutes. Okay, sir. Your balls are lighting up the room, you know? Sir, please. Oh, please. You know I used to suck the juice out of them, remember? Come on, Finda. We didn't even have you in here for no sabi. Please, sir. We live in 15. Okay, sir. I know you come around soon. I must say, you embarrassed me the other day in front of my colleagues. 
Did I? Yes, you did, and you did not include me in the meeting. Sorry, Daniela. Isn't that what you want to hear? Sir, so, uh, how about the case that I've been prosecuting? Oh, that case. I'm glad you found the file. Unfortunately, it is going to be given to another comrade because it will become more difficult for you. And he earns that experienced. But, sir, I have... Is it the one that? Yeah. The one that pays me? He's my boss. Francis, what a nice name. You know, my cousin was called Francis. But he died out of stupidity. And if I were you, I'd be very careful. Now, how sad it would be for Finder here to lose the love of her life. shouldn't have treated you the way he did. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Come on, you've had enough. I had everything. Okay, I was on my way to my office, then I had him shouting, so I just listened in. You don't do that. I could sue you for invasion of privacy, do you know that? Come on, Dee. I'm not the enemy here. We are both victims. I'm also being treated the same way. Are you? Yes. Dee, come on, Dee. Wait. Wait. Come on, Dee. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for eavesdropping. But we need to do something about all this on the ration and harassment that is going on in this office. What do you want us to do? I mean, there must be something we can do. We can sue them. Go to court and say what? This is a country where gender segregation is a tradition. And men harassing women, the order of the day. <laughs> when you speak up, society finds you irresponsible. Besides, my father is a mayor. And the last thing I want is to drag his name to the mud. Everything you do, you do for him. You practically do everything he wants. You're a grown woman. What about what you want? Do not eavesdrop on me anymore. You are my colleague, not my friend. You sent for me, sir. 
I had you walking late today. Why is that? We have a new client coming in from Liberia tomorrow. So I was trying to get his proposed designs together. That's impressive. You can put the files on my table. Okay, sir. I've told you to start calling me by my name. I want to promote you. I want you to become my new assistant director. Well, with just one small condition. You get back together with me. Come on, I know I'm married, but it's not like that sentence. And I've still got strong feelings for you. We don't have to let anyone know. I mean, you can become my mistress. And the office of the assistant director is all yours. Come on, Finder. I will change your life. All inclusive, first class holiday to Dubai, Havana, the Maldives. I'll buy you that Range Rover you so badly wanted. All you need to do is let me in. No. Then you leave me with no choice. <laughs> Take this any longer. Pretty. Thank you. Don't go. I can't take this anymore. Okay. Am I the only female lawyer in No, no, you're not. You're not. Humility. They curse me. Really? They treat me like I'm no one. It's okay. I have withheld this for so long because of family. I know. And you've tried. And you've done well. But I can't take this anymore. I know. You've tried. You've done well. All I want you to do is to be much more patient. Hmm? Your time will soon come, I believe. How long? Just hold down. This damn man. I shouldn't walk that case. No, 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 no. No, no. no. I won't say that. Okay? It's well. Hmm? Stop crying. Please. Um, Daddy said he wants to see us. He said it's important. Come on. Babe? Babe! You just need to calm down. Don't ask me to calm down. That man has beaten more than he can do. You are right. We just need to put ourselves together to find a way out. Where are you going? Babe? Really? Baby, that jet literally stripped herself in my office. If it were any other man, it could have been tired of some God office. forbid, God forbid. In fact, I thought God would give you the strength to resist such temptations. Come here, baby. Come, I'm sorry about it. 
Asu de mbinu na fosi fine man. What's this? Find out yourself. Hey, what's going on? Signature letter. The kind. Okay. Wait. Just so we're clear, nothing ever happened between us. And if you know what's good for you, you gotta keep it that way. I know you're a smart girl. Young man, I did not become mayor of this city to make money. I became mayor of this city because I was sick of the way that the previous politicians had mismanaged the funds of this city, leaving the people homeless, hungry, and jobless. And I just cannot stand and see individuals destroy what I have taken time to build. Truly speaking, sir, you have made changes in the city. But with all due respect, 
it is not enough. This city generates enough fund to develop itself. And yet the only developed area we see in the city is your house. And that of the previous mayors. This is why I need your help. I need your help. I have started a lot of good jobs. And I need to finish them. Now listen. People listen to the messages in your songs. And if you can convince them and help me to win, then I can continue some of the good jobs that I've started. Sir, I'm not a politician. I only speak for the people. And you speak to them. Can you imagine what we can accomplish together? Huh? If you help me to win this election, I will appoint you to some principal positions to represent the city. And besides, I understand that you have some uh, designs on my daughter. <laughs> I will hand over my daughter to you in marriage. Like I said, sir. No, 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 no. Don't, don't say anything. Just go think about it. You said he raped you. You were supposed to. I apprehended him. <laughs> he has been sexually harassing me since I stepped into that office. <laughs> you miss me and also it holds my salary. <laughs> I haven't been paid for the past six months. <laughs> Do you have any evidence to support your allegations? No. <laughs> it's all right. I'll force you the case. But first, let me tell you what's my investigation. Thank you very much, Barrister. We... We appreciate this. I'll get back to you on this. Beauty is breathtaking. <laughs> Thank you. Um, by the way, you know that woman I told you about? She's filing a lawsuit against me. Baby? For what? No. I mean, she's accusing me of sexually harassing her. What? No, 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 wait. I thought you said she was the one trying to seduce you. So how come it's turning around? Exactly. Um, that woman is full of surprises. But don't you worry, my darling. I'm going to deal with her appropriately. I think I'll have to call my lawyers ASAP. Lawyers? Why not hire my sister? You know she's a lawyer. Oh, I wish I could. But you know I've got my lawyers already. So, I'm sorry. Okay, to yourself. I love you. to that. She's only trying to intimidate you. Just be confident. Okay. Are you clear regular updates on this? My company doesn't pay for effort, we pay for results. Results and not excuses. You listen to me. If you don't get it done by midnight, the deal is off.
Since everyone is here, we may proceed. I am Sambo Kone. I'm the appointed magistrate from the High Court to take on this case. Mr. Johnson is my paralegal. Santos Conte is the clerk. Because we have Ms. Finder with our legal representation. And Mr. Pascal with his legal representation. I would like to bring it to everyone's notice that the entire proceedings will be audio recorded by the clerk. So that we will not have any dispute in anybody's contribution. This is obviously not a court room. But the rules of evidence may apply. If there is no comment, we may proceed. I have a comment. Go ahead, counsel. <laughs> you are rigorously charming, my lord. <laughs> Thank you very much, counsel. You're welcome. We may proceed. This is a case of the state versus Pascal Obed Dabunde. Case number 152. Mr. Pascal Obed Dabunde is facing two count charges. Aggravated assault contrary to section 40, offense against the persons act 1861. Attempted rape contrary to Section 5 of the Sexual Offense Act 2007. This particular statement reads that the accused, Mr. Pascal Dabunde, the CEO of POD Enterprises, on the 11th day of December 2020, around 2300 hours, assaulted and attempted to rape Miss Finda Josiah, former girlfriend and employee to the accused, at his office located at number 18B, New Johnson Street, Freetown. Mr. Pascal, what do you plead? Not guilty. My lord, the accused pleads not guilty. Prosecuting counsel. Thank you. Ms. Vindo? Can you please tell us the relationship between you and Mr. Pascal seven years ago? I was in a relationship with him. And what type of relationship? <laughs> Baby girl, I'm going to call it by you. Look into my eyes, oh yeah. Look into my eyes, oh yeah. Tell me if you see inside. Damn. You're so good. You should be made more. Oh, I should just leave right now? You wouldn't dare. Should be? Of course not. You look exceptionally beautiful. I know. Actually, I meant to say all the materials. Ooh. That's so lovely of you to say. Okay. Oh, I love that answer. Miss Fender? Can you please tell us how long the relationship lasted? Ladies and gentlemen, an emergency has occurred from the state that meticulously needs my immediate attention. This session is hereby adjourned until Thursday for continuance.
Have you pawned my daughter? I'm still on it, sir. I have a living color. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I just need to ask you some questions, if you don't mind. When the um, your daughter and the other girls were taken, was it during or after the Civil War? Hmm. It was during, and it was not a Civil War. It was a political slaughter. Okay. Well, we believe your daughter is on Twitter, according to our research. Hmm? After the Civil War. Political slaughter. Yes, sir. After the political slaughter, the girls abducted were taken to Peter. Some of them were sold to Guinea, while the rest were adopted by some foster parents. And your daughter is one of those. Yes, sir. After going through our charts, this is the picture that matches your information and her description. All we need now is your uh, permission to want a DNA. I, I, I want to talk to her. I don't think it would be a good idea, sir. I already have my men following her. All I need is your samples to want a test. Oh, oh, why not? Let me give you just a hair strand. Perfect. Hey. Perfect. This, this, this is good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, You're Inspector. Welcome. You're most welcome, sir. <laughs> Have a drink. <laughs> okay, What do you want? Barista Kemofala, an eloquent young man from Kisi, first son to Chief Tambafala, a proud graduate from Forby College, with a master's from the prestigious Ivy League of Stanford Law School, worked as company administrator for Intax for four years, and resigned to work at his uncle's law firm. Quite impressive. Looks like you've gotten sufficient information already. You know we are not supposed to be seen together. <laughs> Never lost the case. You know, I find it quite baffling that you haven't started your own farm yet. As far as the world is concerned, you are the farm. See, I also came from nothing, you know. I worked my ass off to get to where I am today. So this internationally acclaimed entrepreneur you see, came from nothing too. Seems you and I have a whole lot in common. We have nothing in common. I've been told you're the best in the business. But let me be clear, this is going to be that case that could shatter your career. I know you've got nothing on me. You have no evidence, and you can't win a case based on the testimony of an ego-driven woman who will stop at nothing to land herself a platter of gold. But still, I am generous enough to offer you a significant sum to avert the waste of time. And you know I've got what it takes to catapult your career to the next level. You're a very smart young man to choose wisely. know your type. <laughs> your wish. So what's the relationship between you and Miss Finder? She used to be my employee. Mr. Pascal, have you ever had anything to do with Miss Finder aside from work-related activities? We're in a relationship. And what type of relationship? Don't answer that. My lord, I would like the defendant to answer my question. My lord, I am convinced that this question is in no way related to the matter at hand. 
my compatriot is deviating from the matter at hand, thereby intruding into my client's private life. My lord, I'm only trying to let everyone understand the type of relationship that existed between my client and our former boss that led to the reason why we are all here today. Mr. Pascal, please answer the question. Thank you. What was the question again? The question is what type of relationship were you in with my client? An intimate relationship. Mr. Pascal, can you please elaborate on that? We were in love. For how long? A year and a half. And what happened next? I don't understand that question. Mr. Pascal, you were in a relationship with Miss Finder for a year and a half. What happened next? I'll be leaving to Kenema to see my nanny. I have this feeling that she might know something about my parents. You just came back and you're about to desert me again? But babe, you know I've waited all my life for this moment. Please. This is never going to stop. Please. Excuse me. Baby? Baby! Baby! So what happened next? She left anyways. A woman you claim you loved set on a journey in search of her family. Instead of you providing her with all the necessary support, you went ahead and married another woman. Is that a question? How long did it take before Miss Finder returned? I don't know. How long was it before you employed Miss Finder? Seven. Seven years. And how old is the POD Enterprises? Five years. What exactly do POD Enterprises do? Consultancy, logistics, and advertising services. Mr. Pascal, who came up with the idea of the company? I did. Mr. Pascal, have you ever taken Miss Finder out for lunch while she was working for you? Of course, but only on work-related matters. Is it the lunch that was work-related or the conversation you had during lunch? Don't answer that! How close is your secretary's office to yours? Very close. Is your secretary always available when Miss Finder visits your office? My secretary is always there. My lord, I have no further questions. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a brief recess. This session continues in 30 minutes. Miss <sighs> Finder. When you left my client in search of your long-lost family, how long did it take you before you returned? Two years. Two years. And not two months. When you came back, did you look for Mr. Pascal? <laughs> yes, I did. He was married already. He was married. When you found out that your boyfriend is now married to another woman, what was your reaction? I moved on with my life. You moved on with your life? Just like that? <laughs> it is a lie. I put it to you, you then decided to work in his establishment so that you can retaliate by claiming that amongst all other women, my client, a well-respected, successful entrepreneur, assaulted and attempted to rape you. Admit what he did, you bastard!
I told you you would lose. It's like you don't know whom you're dealing with. Oh, Finda. A lot has changed, you know? Except for the fact that if I want, I can always take you away from your man. We can do this some more, you know? <laughs> Are you trying to mock us, you rapist? No. You can say whatever you like. You know what's unthinkable? It's the fact that you left me for him. <sighs> Losers. You will greatly regret this. I need to sue that girl for defamation. I need to put her away for good. Babes, I don't think we necessarily need that. You've already been vindicated. I know I've been vindicated but there's so much more at stake. This was a direct attack by my rivals on my personality and brand, and I need to set the record straight. I need everyone to understand that I'm a decent, clean man, and a good father to a beautiful daughter for that matter. I need to put her away for good. Okay, it's not a bad idea, but I have a workshop with the Minister of Youths, and I'll be out of town this week. But if you need me, I'll just be a kind of, okay? okay? It's okay, baby. I've got this. Right. I need you to finish what you started. I don't get it. I need to take down that bitch for good. She hasn't learned her lesson yet. What has she done this time? So what do you want me to do? I want a lawsuit against her for attempt on libel and defamation. And I'll pay you double. Let me get back to you on this. Consider it done. Thank you, Edward. Thank you. Now, this is just the beginning. Get this done, and you see what I've got in store for you. Thank you. See you later. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, ma'am. You can go in. Thank you. What are you doing here? Pascal, please, I want you to release my boyfriend and drop your charges against me. I don't want any more troubles. Give me one good reason why I should do that. <laughs> Pascal, you and I know the truth. So it's time you quit the game you were playing. I just don't want any more troubles. Okay. I'll grant your wish, but only on one condition. Despite everything that has transpired, I still have feelings for you. You just need to let me in. Just let me in and everything will be perfect. I'll release that loser boyfriend of yours and I'll withdraw the charges. All I'm asking for is one more night in paradise with you. Just one more night. 
And what if I say no? Then you leave me with no choice. That boyfriend of yours will rot in cell as you prepare to join him after I've dealt with you as well. Your lawyer is not worth much, you know. They've all got a price well within my reach. You are a traitor. How much did he pay you? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't? So you've come to my office to accuse me? If you don't leave this very moment, I'll get you arrested. Get out. I will leave. But you will not get away with this. Get out! Hey. And why do you want to see me? Please, I need your help. <laughs> the last time I checked, you were persecuting my brother-in-law. So, I mean, remind me, why the hell should I help you? Because if you don't, I will go to jail for an offense I didn't commit. <laughs> Please, I am sorry for what happened the last time. Please help me out. Fine. What do you want me to do? Mrs. Adisi Trangao, prosecuting your own brother-in-law. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just wow. I'm afraid that girl is saying the truth. Then give her justice. Isn't that what we do? And send my brother-in-law to jail? That would break my sister's little heart. We're talking about a minimum of 25 to 35 year sentence. D. If Pascal really attempted to rape that girl, he seriously do not deserve your sister. And he should be put away before he succeeds in doing that to someone else. I think that decision is my sister's to make. I've waited for an opportunity for so long. And the first case I get is this. Come on, D. Cheryl, come on. Come here, come here. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. Drop the charges, Pascal. You know, that's not gonna happen. I need to make an example of her. <laughs> you and I know you're not innocent. I'm only here for my sister's sake. And for her sake, please, drop all charges laid against my client and release her boyfriend. When I say no, I mean no. <laughs> Is that how you want it? It was very hectic. Um, I almost lost the case. But thank God, that lady has been put away for good. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Well, guess who the prosecuting counsel was? Who? <laughs> Your sister, Daniela. What? You're kidding me, right? You can't be serious. That's what I thought. Jesus. But I personally asked her to drop the case. I told her to put the case away. Wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't be mad at her. Just, no. just calm her down. I can't, I can't 
do that. Babes, she's my sister. Well, I mean, she lost, so... <laughs> she will hear the last of me. Yes, Kimo. What? He has no right to do that. That riffraff assaulted me. What are you talking about? That boy has nothing to do with the case. The judge has no right to release him. Do you understand me? And you better fix this. Nonsense. What are you doing here by this time? Please, you need to help her. She's innocent. I mean, she's the victim in all of this. How can she be the one to go to jail? Barista, please. She's saying the truth. Please. Fida has never lied to me. I believe you. In every court of law, there is a symbol. A blindfolded pregnant woman with a sword by her right hand and way by her left. Remember, she is blindfolded, so she does not see what's in her way. She only cuts what weighs more. The justice system does not know who is innocent. It only knows who is proven innocent. You might be right. Pascal may have attempted to rape Finder. But what substantial evidence do we have to prove that? The only way I can help you now is to appeal before the judge to reduce her sentence. Oh, unless you have roughly 275 million. What? What? Where can I get that money from? The office is the footage. I have already done that, and there's nothing to see. Besides, there was no record for the whole week of the incident. Pascal said the cameras had issues and had to be fixed. The secretary confirmed it. No, 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 no. I, I would love to check it out myself. The, the, the footage could have been deleted. You need a warrant from a judge for that, and we don't have time in our favor. <sighs> Or how to break into the company. All I can tell you is that it is illegal to break into someone's private property. Yeah, right? What have you done? I asked you not to take that case. Sis, calm down, please. Oh, calm down? You want to send him to jail. My own sister wants to send my husband to jail. How much were you paid? How much? Sis, come. No, no, no. I always knew you were jealous of me. Sis, please come down and listen to me. Listen to you, you say? What excuses do you have for persecuting your brother-in-law? The same man that has always been there for our family. Is that how you decided to pay him back? Really? <laughs> you know what? You failed. Like always. He did it. Did what? You have no shame, you still- He tried to rape that woman.
My husband said that lady tried to see. I think that was not the only lady. No. I can still drop the case if you want me to. And let that innocent lady go to jail for being abused. No. But is that what you really want? This can be happy. You think so? No. no. If it was pretty on me, what no. would you have done? No. What's going on? She was shameless. You have no shame at all. You tried to rape that lady. And you came home telling me that she was trying to seduce you. So you're calling me a liar and you're a rapist? You're worse than a rapist. Why? In modern he can chew. Not on my sister. No. No, 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 no. Not on my sister. Please, don't cry. At this point, Pascal should pay for what he has done. We have to tell that enough is enough. Let's go home. Yeti. I know, I understand. But you, you, you're doing a good job. I'm trying. I know, I'm trying. I know, I know. I know. Yes, so, so tell me, uh, what do you have for me? I have a good news for you, sir. Is that so? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. We found your daughter, sir. Oh, my God. Uh, our foster parent died eight years ago, and she's alive and healthy. <gasps> oh, that, that, that. Come, 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 come on, come on, listen to this. We need to talk, and it's important. What is more important than your sister? Dad. What happened here? Pascal happened. I... What do you mean? He beat.
beat her up. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, eh? Oh my God. Pascal is going to regret messing with my daughter. Dad, what is this lady's fault to doing here? My lord, I'm really surprised that my colleague here is facing this case again. I mean, it's true that I was a prosecutor for it, but I lost That's it. because you're a lying son of a bitch. You both belong together in hell. Miss Finger, you keep quiet or I shall ask you to wait outside. My lord, it was proven beyond all reasonable doubts that I lost the case and it was true. So I see no reason why the time of this honorable body be wasted over an irrelevant matter presented by an inexperienced barrister. My lord, I suggest you overrule this case so we all shall breathe and look into other cases of relevance. Counsel Danella. Mr. Pascal, on the 11th of December at exactly 7.30 p.m., where were you? I suppose my office. Hmm. Why were you still at the office that late? I decided to stay late that day. Why? I was reviewing my previous month's financial analytics, and I'm sure that has no bearing on this. You can never tell. So tell us, did Miss Finder visit your office that eve? I had you working late today. Why is that? We have a new client coming in from Liberia tomorrow. So I was trying to get his proposed designs together. That's impressive. You can put the files on my table. Okay, sir. No. Monsieur, this may not be a law court, but have it in mind that you are under oath. Monsieur, do you know this man? Yes. Where do you know him from? He was my boss. I worked at his company, the PUD Enterprises, as the company secretary. Can you please tell everybody what you told me? He raped me. How many times? Three times. He even got me pregnant the second time and forced me to get rid of it. Did you in any way suspect any possible attempt of rape from your boss right here, Mr. Pascal, towards Miss Finna, your colleague? No. But he definitely must have abused her too. This man has sexually abused so many young women. No further questions. You said my client, Mr. Pascal, licked you three times, correct? Yes. Where did all this incident take place? In his office. And how many employees are there in your place of work? About 150 employees. And according to you, Mr. Pascal turned his workplace to a whole house. How many people are aware of this? Pardon? Mr. Pascal allegedly raped you three times in a company comprising 150 staff members and nobody noticed. How is that possible? Because he asked me to wait after closure. Mr. Pascal allegedly raped you three times and yet you still work for him. Why is that? Because I have no option. There are so many graduates out there without jobs. I have bills to pay. I have to take care of my younger ones too. Did you ever go to the police to file a complaint? No. Messiah, have you forgotten your oath? You are telling us that your boss, a happily married man with a child, allegedly raped you three times in a company comprising 150 staff members and nobody noticed. You did not even go to the police to file a complaint. Instead, you continued to work for him like nothing had happened. Look, we are not kids here. Please have that in mind. Did you report to the police? Yes, I did. The police said they don't believe a single man can rape a woman without leaving traces on her body. 
Unfortunately, I had none. So I was the one pleading my way out because the police wanted to arrest me for defamation and I know. Miss Pierce, how old are you? 24. And how old were you when this alleged incident took place? 20. When my client allegedly raped you, did you file a complaint to the police? Yes, I did. And what did the police do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I was asked to provide a proof. Like, he wakes up in the morning and be like, okay, today I'm going to be raped. Let me take my camera so I can film myself while I've been raped. It took me three years. His voice is still echoes in my head. I see his face every time I close my eyes. That's my case. Some victim couldn't make it. And yet, these monsters still roam the street, free, abusing and traumatizing more women. The justice system in this country is not just. Your Honor, with me is a hard drive containing footage from Mr. Pascal's CCTV surveillance camera at his office, proving that he attempted to with my client, Ms. Finda Josiah. Based on the evidence provided in this case, this is my verdict. The accused Pascal Obedabude is found guilty of aggravated assault contrary to Section 40, Offenses Against the Person Act 1861, Rape contrary to Section 5 of Sexual Offense Act 2007. Therefore, the accused Pascal Obedabude is hereby sentenced to 21 years jail term. <sighs> for all charges at this time. Um, Pascal has jeopardized this company and has to be away for the next 21 years. We cannot wait until he returns. We must do the needful. So I and my compatriots here have met and agreed to allocate 20% of his shares to his wife and sell the remaining 20% to Chief Benson here. But before going into any documentation, can we please welcome Ms. Finda? Ms. Finder, on behalf of the Board of Directors of POD Enterprises, I want to apologize for what our Head of Investment has put you through. And to assure you that we're truly sorry, and to prove to you that your work in this establishment has not gone unnoticed, we're installing you as the Managing Director of POD Enterprises. Your salary for the next eight months will be doubled. Thank you for speaking up and exposing Mr. Pascal for who he truly is. Thank you so much. We now look forward to working with you. My dear, a lot of water has flowed under the bridge, but I'm like the happiest man in the world right now. I waited so long to be able to meet you, make your acquaintance, and now I have done that. I am particularly happy I, 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 and so, so gratified about the way you handled yourself. You give people hope. You give young women hope to rise above the challenges. And I am here at this moment to show my gratitude. You know, I own 20% of the shares here. Yes, sir. Now, that belongs to you. Dad, tell me you don't mean it. I do. No, 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 you don't. You deserve <laughs> much more than that. Oh my God. Don't worry, a lot more will happen. But I'm on top of the world right now. 
and I would do nearly anything to see that smile on your face. All this while, I have spent my life without a father. And just three days of knowing my father, I am now a managing director. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. That's how the world rules. Yeah, you know. Thank you. But, Dad, mm -hmm. how is Emma coping? She'll be fine. I, I feel so sorry for her, knowing that I had to be the one to nail my sister's husband down. But again, Pascal doesn't deserve her. Yeah. 